Okay, so um, I, like, there's a lot of people that are liking my Gemini videos, and I'm glad, you know, because you know, it's so many things and things out there about us lovely little butterfly creatures, you know, and I don't really think it's fair. Um, but no, seriously, this video is about how to catch a Gemini. Okay, how to catch a Gemini, especially a Gemini male, because I have a lot of people inquiring about that. Um, have you guys ever listened to Prince, like, or seen Prince? Like, go look at a series of Prince videos. And no. I, like, all Gemini men are not sashaying around with the look of the feminine. You know what I'm saying? But they're very much in tune. Trust me. So, with that being said, it's, it's just a... Just go and look. Just uh, The reason why I say look at Prince is because his characteristics, okay? Because this is what you're dealing with here. Geminis are not known as the quote unquote sex symbols of the zodiac. They hand that over to Scorpio, but Scorpio in like different places like Capricorn, look at R. Kelly. But <laughs> that's because with Gemini, it's crazy or it's different because there's almost like a childlike innocence to it. That's creepy and scary for most people. Okay. Because it's like, dang, you know, this person, I don't understand what's going on here. It's like, feeling these vibes. This person got it going on. It's like this mysterious, quiet, uniqueness slash sexiness when you're dealing with Gemini, men and women. And it's not in the looks. It's not just about the looks. Because let's say they're not the most prettiest, um shiniest apples in a bunch as far as looks it's the demeanor it is the energy itself the gemini sign men and women hey look this is controversy look we hey this is specifically behind the scenes talking here okay gemini men and women have the capacity to naturally attract men and women so that means the woman can attract men and women. The men can attract women and men. I'm not saying that they want the men because that's a whole other story. I know Gemini men that are straight and are not interested in other men, but I'm going to tell you, they have the capacity to do it. So they got that ability. So what it is, is they are, their energy is attracting these things. But it's the demeanor as well. And the men and the women have it. And what a lot of people don't understand. Because you could even take a Gemini that is broke his all outside. They're going to have a, an, a, a viewpoint that seems almost opinionated and ejected. But no. It's because... It's because there's a sense of entitlement with a Gemini that, that Geminis don't speak about, that other people don't speak about. But you sense it when you deal with one. Now, you got to understand, because I don't really want to get too far off, off topic, but, you know, I, I do want to come back in some, and I do want to bring up Gemini men. You have to understand that Gemini men and women, okay, but we're going to say the men too, want to do one specific thing. And this is why they're associated with being a child. Because if you think about a child, when the child is in the stages of, I want to get what I want and there's nothing that you can do about it because that's what I want to do. And you have to teach them that you're not getting what you want. Okay, that's a Gemini. They want to get what they want. Okay? And they know how to get it. Now, this is where people, where Gemini men um, have problems in their relationship because 
there could be until a Gemini male. I'm going to say women too, but especially men. Because we all know men, male, masculine energy in the first place. But until a Gemini male gets to, uh, reaches a certain level of maturity, good luck. Like, you're not going to be able to tie him down. Unless he wants to be there, okay? Um, and needless to say, Geminis are just not good. Like, people call Geminis sneaky and all this type of stuff. Not nah, Geminis are not good with being sneaky. They will get caught every time. The men. The, the females, I don't even, it, it, the females are more along the lines. A fem, if you give a Gemini woman a, a partner that they feel like can handle them, and can handle their wants and their needs, they good. Okay? The men are just like any other men that wants to experience. The thing about the Gemini men is that they're, it, they're even if they lie to you, you will know the truth because you'd be like, you just, I'm sorry, but that lie that you just told, that's not even a good one. So they'll be, let's say they cheat like any other sign. Let's say if they're cheating, if they're choosing to cheat or to be players like any other sign, they're just not going to be that good in doing it. The truth be told, men are not that good in cheating anyways, but Gemini men are going to be horrible at keeping that away. But where they get messy, where the situation gets messy with Gemini men, for the fact alone that they are, they, they do what they want to do what they want. And when I say do what they want, I'm not saying that you should accept their behavior. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they want to do what they want. So when if if you notice signs of one that is detaching itself from you, not really wanting to deal with you, then back up. Don't pursue him. I wouldn't suggest that you pursue any man because, well, the new energy that's going on now that I talk about, the younger kids, the ones, this, the generation that's coming in, there's a slightly difference from from like people that's over a certain age right now. Shoot. The world is theirs to have. But with the inner with the, 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 the way that our minds been conditioned, I don't feel like you should. And especially like if you're saying that, you know, you're after this masculine dude and um you want him to pursue you. If you want to be pursued, I wouldn't say and and I definitely wouldn't pursue a, a, a Gemini male. No, because he just keeps flying. You know, there has to be some other placements there, like strong earth placements, water placements. But I would say specifically Scorpio, maybe, because when you're dealing with cancers, cancers can be um, Rico's, Rico Suave's, you know. Um, But. Ne that's neither here nor there. It's 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 just the point of the matter, you know. It's just the point of the matter. Now, if I've had some people that email me, uh, they email me or they comment under my videos. And remember, if you look at my videos about Gemini's and especially Gemini men, then you know that I said that they how you get it, get one be their friend. Now, I'm not talking about. Guys, there's different levels to any situation. There's levels of getting to know people, just just meeting them, get to know them, you know, building a relationship, getting married. There's different levels. And I'm saying that when I'm saying be his friend, I'm not talking about sitting up, being his friend for no reason. Like he's dissing you, ditching you, not treating you with respect or the way you want to be treated. Then why sit up and be his friend? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when... You let's say you set up some type of date with him. Now I don't know. Do Gemini's Gemini's do dates? Like I don't know. Oh, do they? Like yeah. But you know, honestly, a lot of the times Gemini's is like off in the cut. Like like shoot, I'm trying to chill. People put us out in the public. Like, if you really think about it, how would you go out and connect with air? You just let it be. You know, you kind of let it be and do its thing. You know what I'm saying? And then 
as it's doing its thing, you know who you are and you know what you want. You know who what you need because that's the only way you're going to be like, um, attention on me breeze because I'm trying to have my hair blowing in the wind. Like I'm trying to enjoy my the breeze. I'm trying to enjoy life. That's the only way it's, it's going to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So that being said, with Gemini men, you, I'm, listen, <laughs> you, you gotta be strong in who you are and what you want because they're going to try to get their way. Now, another thing that I want to make clear, I want to go, okay. And now the friendship thing. I'm not saying go and be like calling on them, calling them all the time, checking on them, being a friend, saying agreeable stuff all the time. As a matter of fact, I think Gemini's hate for people to say agreeable stuff 100% of the time. Like if it's something that makes sense, okay, yeah. And you got something in common, that's another thing. But just to sit around and say everything that they say is right to be like, to get with the dude or whatever, that's a big turn off because... It looks just like, it seems boring. It comes off as boring to them. It's not stimulating. It's not mentally or intellectually stimulating. And let me tell you something. Stimulation for Geminis is not all the time sitting up talking with you. Because a Gemini male could be in a room with you and off on his other, like out of space in his own world and don't really want you to talk to him. And it could be like, oh, well, you're moody. It's like, not, are you not listening to me? It's not, it's not that I'm not listening to you. It's not that I'm trying to be moody. I'm just, they're gonna, I'm in that. Do you know what's going on in my head? Like, I got thinking in a Gemini's head is like a freaking full time job. Full time job. To the point, sometimes it's hard to do anything else. They don't, a lot of times, Geminis eh, do not connect to the world. They look at it, they watch, they observe it. They do not connect to the world. So they want to be in the here and the now, okay? Because you think about it. They could be like sporadic. They could be like, man, I got an idea. I want to try it. But they want to be in the here and the now. But a lot of times they are not in the freaking here, in the freaking now. Because they're in the here and I'm talking like they're not in the here and now on earth, like right here where I'm talking to you because they're in the here and the now in their head constantly, they've arrived. And you may say, well, what's going on in their head? I don't know. Th different things. And it don't be the things that you think all the time. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it. it's like a whole nother, Gemini is like, could you please comment and help sister out here? It's like a whole nother world in your head. And yeah, it's some of it you're thinking about what it is that you're going to be doing, what you want to do. Like, I'm talking like coming up with all kinds of crap. I Like, I don't even know how to even begin, you know. And it's, it's the part about doing it, okay? So, they could, what they do, and I, like, like I said, watch Prince, Gemini, men and like i kind of find this in the rising signs as well because gemini sun rising or whatever you know what i'm saying but what they do is they they want that stimulation like a lot of people fit, be like oh that's not emotional intelligence you know whatever nah no 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 if gemini's are emotionally intelligent they don't it seems like it's not to other people for the simple fact that we don't we i told you gemini's handle their own emotional needs like like that they'll voice something they may voice something in a heartbeat, but after that, it's like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, what, what only, what don't kill me only makes me stronger, baby, you know? And they don't, they don't have to, I know one thing that they do do, they will keep repeating something to you until they feel like you got it through your head. If you have, if they feel like you have not got it through your head, you might hear it a couple times, you know? But what they do is, they observe, okay? Who else observes? Virgo. whoop de doo Virgo is also ruled by the planet Mercury. So, uh, Geminis observe like 
never before. Like, what they do is they observe you. Now, you think they off in La La Land acting crazy, silly. They ain't got no sense or whatever, whatever. Mm, and if they want something bad enough, I don't care if this is the male or female. Because remember, Geminis are in touch. We all have masculine and feminine energy, but Geminis are in touch with theirs. It's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? And the women as well. And the women, the women... Gemini women are just about the only women that I know that could pursue a man and get him. Like, chase after a man and get him. And the reason why is because, and other women can do this too, but I'm talking like effortless, effortlessly do it. And the men, yeah, Gemini men do this too, but I'm, I'm the reason why is because Gosh, I feel like I'm getting on track here. But like I said, if I didn't, I wouldn't be a Gemini. <laughs> what happens is we don't hide away from that other side. Other people do because other people have not connected in themselves that they're just playing a role. Scorpios do. Scorpios realize that, okay, it's a bunch of role playing out here. Scorpios realize that. Other signs have not. A lot of times they, they don't understand. They're like, oh, I'm playing this female role. So this is what females do. Sagittarius is conflicted because sometimes because they're masculine, their masculine energy does directs. But what happens is they, what they do is they create controversy around what that relationship looks like because it's a battle. It's like, okay, well, I want a man, but at the same time, you can't tell me what to do. You know, Gemini serious you can't tell me what to do i'm a woman i got rights you know what i'm saying gemini is you think you can tell me what, oh you telling me what to do you think you can you think you can control me and thinking in their head i'm gonna do what i want anyways and they won't tell you they'll just do what they want anyways it's a difference you know so uh, but I wanted to bring the Sagittarius out because I like the masculinity in the Sagittarius woman. Okay? That's why I, I said that. Hey, shoot. We're just going to freely talk right about now. If you not up at the... If you lost me by now, go ahead and click the off button for the rest of us to, you know, we do our thing. But what... Yeah, so what happens is... You, it's an art to be interacting with both of your energy. You know what I'm saying? It's an art. You, you're not playing a role. You're being yourself. You see what I'm saying? You're being what you're here to be. And, and, and Gemini's recognize both sides. They recognize good, evil. They recognize what people do in the light, what they do in the dark. You know what I'm saying? They, they see through it. But what they do is saying, they say, shoot, this is an experience, baby. You know what I'm saying? You and your experience, do what you do. I would, I don't see why you would do that. But you can do what you want. It's like, it's that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? What is you, crazy? Is you dumb? <laughs> like Remy Ma. But it's because they know that it's both parts all the time that's playing out simultaneously playing out it's you're watching it literally watching it like a movie on the screen if you're a gemini you're watching life like a freaking movie on the screen and you don't even know you're just like okay i seen this i see this yeah i know what they're gonna do you know, like you watch the movie and you watching it over again so you're not in your the the, the moment of the emotions apart you're not in the moment of what's going on you're like okay Let's say, what's a good, what what is something good that we can use here? I'm trying to think of something good that I've seen before that I know a lot of people have seen before. Titanic. When, I don't know why I picked out Titanic, guys. Let's go over the program. Titanic. When that ship was starting to sink and they was falling in and I was like, oh my God, it was several points in the movie where I was like, oh my God, I just can't. Could you imagine being there? What? I what would I have done? But then I watched it again and it didn't have the same effect. I was like, dang. 
every time I watch that movie, guys, I'm like, dang, I can't imagine what I'm going to do being there. But after I, now I'll go watch it and it could bring up emotions for me, but I already know what's going to happen. So I don't react the same. I'm like, I know what's going to happen. Yeah, they about to sing. No, oh, dang, they going down. Whoa, oh, 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 he fell and just, oh, he fell on a piece of ice. Dang, you know, there we go. That's Gemini's for it. It's like, I seen it once. I seen it all almost. It's like, dang, I seen this happen before. I know. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I can't. Shouldn't have did that. You know. Oh, oh, yeah. And you're watching it. It has nothing to do. You and and I hate this word flighty. Flighty for a Gemini don't not nah, like you. That is a demeanor. That's part of our demeanor. You know what I'm saying? It's because it we it helps us get what we want. Um. But yeah. So with Gemini men, can you imagine how conflicted this must make women? Because the Gemini men is just working them. You know what I'm saying? Working them. You know they 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 sit back and observe, and they're like. They're looking and they're observing and they're like, mm, okay, storing this away, foul cabinet, snapshot, <laughs> snapshot <laughs> in the cabinet, foul cabinet, you know, and then it's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, back up, back up, back up, back up, wait a minute, hmm, stop the press, who's that, you know what I'm saying, because the rest of it is stored in my memory bank, you know, the rest of it, I snapshot it, foul cabinet, but who is that, you see what I'm saying, so bam, there goes the entrance. And you can say, well, who could be comfortable with a person like that? Well, it's, like I said, you got to wait till they mature. Because it's not, they don't just do this with women. They do this with things, okay? So, if you're a woman, okay, if you're a female and you're involved with a Gemini man or whatever, or a Gemini partner or whatever, and the reason why I say female is because I, you know, um, it's, it could be a little bit different with the women, you know, I could talk about that as well, but, um, when you're, when you, with, with the Gemini men, the trick of how to catch them is to not catch them. Okay. And yeah, they're going to want somebody that they can be friends with. Now, when I say friends, you have to put it into context with your situation we're not going overboard to be friends with them. I mean, like, as y'all build y'all relationships, when y'all show up, you know, when y'all just kicking it and y'all just talking, just have confidence in yourself. Like, do what you do. Don't try to impress him. Don't try to be that person that gets his attention or gets it or impresses him. Because you want him to kind of just get, just to get to feel you or know you on a personal level, like your, your personal self. And without the movies, without the glitz and the glamours, without the movie, like the action, rotate, you know what I'm saying? And if you, you know what I'm saying? Like post a couple jazzy um, selfies on Facebook. Like, you know, yeah, what's up? This is how we do it. You know what I'm saying? NC stand up, <laughs> you know? And like you enjoying life, like you just doing your thing. Because if you're not, you know what I'm saying? Then I think that, that's something that you should get together first. Okay, the second thing, you're not going to want to be in any position where you're trying to tell him what to do or you're trying to make it seem as if you're telling him what to do or you're projecting something onto him. The reason why is because he's going to look side-eyed and he's going to go the other direction. Why? Because Geminis are suspicious as crap. What do you think is the opposite of being curious? You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't want to say we're paranoid, but suspicious, oh, heck yeah. And a Gemini will sit there and until they fill you out and not deal with you, they will sit there, they will let it play out like a freaking movie. And all the while, all the while, it's sitting there like, uh-huh, you little shysty. <laughs> so, and taking note of everything is like, nah, like she, this is seeming kind of for, and even in your conversation, because just think about it, a Gemini's profession is to communicate or to pick up on things in a, a communicative way. Um, and what happens is, but this is the, 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 um, thing that they don't say what happens is 
a Gemini is never listening to what you're directly saying. They're looking at, they're looking at it from the point of view of what you didn't say. So they're hearing what you're communicating and they're hearing what you didn't say and they're putting it together and they're saying, okay, so you're telling me that you are interested in changing car oil because I'm a mechanic. You know, it's that type of thing. They they don't like, as a matter of fact, they don't care what you do or what you, even if they give their opinion, they could literally say, you know what, oh, I hate, um, I hate yogurt, yogurt shops. And you could be like, what, why? I work in one and I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. You know, and you cannot, and another thing, I don't want to say cannot, but another tip. Don't take what they say to heart. Don't take what they say to heart. Like if they're telling, a Gemini will come up because I'm telling you, it's like a snapshot. Ching, falling away. Ching, falling away. They will literally, a Gemini man could be like, man, you, ugh, I will marry you. What do you think about, have you ever thought about what it would be like to get married? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that partner aspect. But if they, they could jump the gun because if they feel like at any time until until you're in a some type of committed relationship solid relationship with you with them and they feel like anytime like nah mm -mm, i just i'm not feeling it they're not gonna they're not gonna jump on board with it a lot of times i say this and i'll say this again now if you see a gemini man in a relationship with somebody and you don't understand why they're doing it for some type of reason whether it's a reason that we don't know about I don't know. It could be just because they feel safe. Um, it could be because that person put up with stuff that they, or I mean, in their hardest times, whatever they're identifying with is that that thing or that situation is there that's connecting them with the person. Okay, and like I just say, don't pay them no attention because I don't want. I'm not saying treat them mean. Don't do that. No, I'm not saying treat them mean. I'm saying to don't put a lot of time and energy into trying to figure out what they're doing. Don't do that because you can't figure out what a Gemini is doing. And let's go over here with the women. With the women, the women, I don't think many of them are going to say this, you know. But as independent as Gemini women claim to be and are, they do want I feel like they do want to be taken care of by their lover or their family, whatever. You know, like, they want to be supported in a sense. I'm not talking about just financially. They want to know, like, do you got their back? Do you got their back through thick and thin? You know, the, the male and the females. But the thing about it with males, you just got to be... Because men, you know how men... Men could be different sometimes. Men could, you know, if you let men get too much leeway sometimes, they take advantage. You, you got to be smart with these type of things. But with women, a lot of the times... You know, um, it's different. And, you know, they they want, they are, they could be very prissy. Like, um, seriously, prissy. Like, you know, I want my feet rubbed or my back rubbed or, you know, show me attention right now. Okay, ugh, I don't want it. Like, you know, I don't want the attention right now. You know what I'm saying? They could be vocal with hold up wait a minute what but at the same time passive and that is what attracts men but but then again the same thing that attracts to have a man attracted to them they um hmm. <laughs> you know I, that's what attracts men a lot of time to gemini women but the thing about with gemini uh, women they their head is very much has a lot to do with their partner because if they feel like it, it like it, it has to make sense to them in a certain way it may not make sense to nobody else but if it clicks and it makes sense to a Gemini woman you can't tell her nothing it's like until she she will she will she will literally stick with that person like never before you know what I'm saying and it's it's like I, it, it's so many things in that. And I'll go on to the Gemini women on a later video. If men, if y'all want to have any questions, usually it's the women that's asking me questions about the men. So I want to touch on the men more, you know, but the Gemini women, 
um, are fun. They just don't really understand. When they don't understand something and the person that they're dealing with, it's, they'll try, but then when they stop trying, either you're going to have to come and, and try with them or it's pretty much a done deal, you know, because it stops making sense. You know, they always have suitors, but is it the ones that they want? That is the question. That's why you can find them single um, um, in so many cases because it's like, well, is it the ones that I want? And where it gets tricky is that they, like I said before, and I'm just saying, like, don't, don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. They attract men. They attract women, but, and vice versa. So, but a Gemini woman definitely can get into situations because of the fact that, you know, she's attracting men. Like, you know, it's, it can look a certain way that it's not. And like sometimes Gemini women is innocently in the situation like, oh yeah, you know, we cool. But it looks like, dude, you know, how many men do you have? You know, scenarios like that. But anyhow, I'm going to stop right there because it's pushing the limits, guys. I'm glad to be here conversating with you guys. Um, if you have keep the questions coming, I will answer. And I have a lot of questions about Gemini's that I would love to do. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back. Butterfly to light. Peace.